Just to show you the kind of downpours we get here in Florida and what test I am putting these waterproof powders through, our rain comes down sideways and looks like this. <laughs> it's no joke. Hi there gorgeous! I hope you had a wonderful weekend. In today's video I'm testing three waterproof powders for you. One is high-end to our drugstore. I initially wanted to test these in the pool. If you've been subscribed for a while, you may remember my pool test from last year where I did a full face of drugstore makeup. I still want to do that again this year, but hurricane season came early here. It's been raining nonstop for the past 15 days. I could not catch a break. And then I finally just thought to myself, I'm just going to go stand out in the rain. And then I said, wait a minute, that's actually not a bad idea. So the beauty of this video is that I will be showing you actual footage of standing out in a Florida downpour with each of these powders and what my face looked like afterwards. And I'll let you know if any of these waterproof powders are good or not. First powder I tested out of this group is one from Catrice Cosmetics. This is their Prime and Fine mattifying powder. It is waterproof and claims to be transparent. It has a beautiful finish on the skin. It is completely transparent once you apply it, and it does give you a fully matte appearance. I always question what you can actually get from watching a powder being applied on camera, because to me there isn't really much to see, but hopefully you can see the great quality that this powder provides. And here here is the footage from standing out in a Florida downpour. <laughs> okay, it's really starting to come down now. <laughs> with this one. Holy cow, I can't even keep my eyes open. Ooh! That was the day that I learned you cannot keep your eyes open when the rain is hitting you sideways. It just does not work. But I'm very happy to tell you that after standing out in the rain for about four minutes, because that was really all I could take, my face looked gorgeous once I came back inside and it had dried. It didn't even look like I had gotten soaked that day. I did have a little bit missing from around the tip of my nose or right after the downpour, but for the most part, I'm not going to nitpick. It looked amazing. And I did test this powder on a separate day without standing in the Florida rain, and I can tell you that it does last for a good 10 hours straight. Without settling into fine lines, it keeps everything in place, and it looks beautiful on the skin. Looks like you just applied it. Very, very happy with the Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine Powder. Now this does contain silica, so if you are using flash photography, I would not recommend wearing this one because it will create a white cast on the skin. But for anything else, great choice. Next powder I tested is the one from Essence. This is their All About Matte fixing powder and it is waterproof. Initially when you apply it onto the skin it does leave a white cast but it does blend in after you've had it on for a little while. Although I still question how this kind of powder would perform on those with a medium to dark skin tone so just be aware of that. The day that I tested the essence powder was actually kind of funny because I was out running errands and I saw a downpour coming. I didn't want to miss it so I drove into it purposefully pulled over in to a parking lot and waited for this storm to roll over. Uh, yeah, I'm rather dedicated like that. Oh, look at this. Storm is coming. All right, it's really coming down now. <laughs> Here we go. See, I told you, I'm in a parking lot. Of all places to be, in a parking lot. Oh, it's coming down sideways. Woo! Oh man. Oh, see, this is how hard the rain is coming down. I'm already soaked. I haven't even been out here for two minutes. Holy! Ah! <sighs> <Ooh. laughs> 
Yeah, um, we put that powder to the test. Live and learn. After that experience, I started keeping a towel in my car just in case I wanted to test another powder in a downpour because I had one more to go. But anyway, the Essence Powder locks everything in place and my face looked beautiful. After the rain, at the end of the day, it's another excellent powder to try at a really inexpensive price. My only negative comment with this powder is that it did settle into fine lines. If you look real closely at my face, you can start to see some of that, especially around the mouth area, but it wasn't overtly noticeable and really I'm not going to nitpick on it. It was an excellent one that I would absolutely use again. Now this one does not contain silica, so it won't create flashback in flash photography. Great choice if you're looking for something like that. Last waterproof powder I put to the test is a new one from Urban Decay. This is their all-nighter waterproof setting powder. Now they claim this one is translucent. When I went to purchase it, I was trying to figure out if they had different shades, but it, they just had one simple shade. On initial application, it looked rather dark against my fair skin and wasn't too happy about the color match, but the results were really beautiful on the skin and it was fully matte. I would have preferred a better color match, but anyway, I was coming out of a TJ Maxx on the day I was wearing this one and I was greeted with the most beautiful downpour, so I had to take advantage. Now this is really, when you get to test it, it's walking to the car, Woo! or I should say running. Oh, Woo! we're going to walk slow though. I think I burst pretty far. <laughs> Woo! Oh, we'll just stand here for a minute. Why not? Let's go. I don't think we tested that enough. Let's do some more. <laughs> We're in a tropical storm, by the way. This is Tropical Storm Alberto. Woo! Coming down like crazy right now. People probably think I'm crazy. It's okay though. It's okay. It's all in the name of YouTube. Hooray! Second I see lightning though, I am jumping back in that car for sure. Okay, I think we're done. I think we're good. Yeah, let's go. I definitely need to change my shirt. I can wring it out. Ooh! Let's see if I can zoom in on my face here so you can see just how much water is there. <laughs> Soaked to the bone. Goodness. I really wanted to test that powder out, which is why I did two rounds of rain. And I must have stood out there for at least five minutes the second time, just letting the rain hit my face. And afterwards, my eyeshadow was pretty wrecked. The glitter that I had on my eyelids had moved all over the place, so that didn't really hold up very well, but the rest of my face looked gorgeous and the Urban Decay powder kept everything locked in place. One thing I will say about this powder that's really funny to me is that by the end of the day, it did look like it matched my skin tone. It almost did the opposite of oxidation. I don't even know how to describe it. It matched somehow magically and it did this on the second day i tried it out too so maybe when you first apply it it's a little dark and then it adjusts to your skin tone I'm not really sure but my initial qualms with this one were squashed thankfully and it is a really great powder to try now if you'd like to see my pool test that i conducted last year with all waterproof drugstore makeup i will have that video linked for you below and like i said i am planning on doing another one here shortly with brand new waterproof drugstore products for you to try this year too. Let me know what you thought about these powders and if you're interested in picking any of them up, I will also have them linked for you down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.